Welcome to today's interview session where we explore the SOFIA project. SOFIA is focused on stratifying obesity phenotypes to optimize future therapies. As we know, obesity is a complex disease with diverse underlying causes and manifestations. The SOFIA project aims to categorize these varied phenotypes more precisely, enabling the development of targeted, effective treatments that cater to the specific needs of different patient groups. I am now joined by the SOFIA Work Package 7 co-lead, Jay Deidre Mikilkadi, who is looking at patient perceptions and preferences, as well as the Work Package 8 co-lead, Alex Feldman, who is looking at and uh, shared value analysis. Deidre, would you be able to tell us a little bit more about how the patient perceptions and preferences are being integrated into the SOFIA project? Well, I think from the outset, it's been really important in the SOFIA study to embed patient perspectives and voices into everything that we're doing across SOFIA, across all of the work packages. So I think one of the very first steps we took in SOFIA was to think about the research design and how we were going to actually realistically cross the bridge between the work in Work Package 7 into all of the other work packages. So one of the things that we set up was a patient advisory board within SOFIA to help guide us in that. And then within our Work Package 7, what we've done is very much focused on exploring patient perspe perspectives and preferences around obesity and obesity treatment. And within that, we also have a patient advisory board, which has guided us in the work that we've been doing. And then what we've been doing very much, very actively within Work Practice 7 is reporting back across all, to all of the work practices around the findings emergent from listening to uh, patient uh, perspectives, the lived experience of people living with obesity, how it's impacting on their lives, how it's limiting their life experiences, and the implications that has for them and on their well-being as well. And what we've really wanted to do and try to do as part of the work within SOFIA is report that back to our other work package leads so that then that gets everybody thinking about, well, what can we do in terms of our work package to maybe support those voices or to ask more questions to explore what those voices are bringing to the table? So it's been a really critical part because I suppose one of the things around Work Package 7 is, you know, really emphasizing the importance that obesity is actually everybody's responsibility to support anybody who is living with obesity. And as researchers, no matter what we're doing in SOFIA, we all have an, uh, a responsibility to enhance the lives of those who are living with obesity, which fundamentally underpins the work in SOFIA. Absolutely. And this also bridges to the work that Alex is doing in Work Package 8, uh, shared value analysis. Alex, maybe just tell us a little bit more, what is shared value analysis and how is that actually uh, embedded into SOFIA? Of course, um, shared value is really ensuring that the work that we're doing, not only through the research, but also making sure that everything that we're aiming to achieve is going to meet the needs of the entire healthcare ecosystem and all of our stakeholders. So what it means is that we're trying to make sure that we find ways to create pathways to take the research that we're doing and also the needs and the challenges of the stakeholders within the obesity care space, and then making sure that we can anchor our results in those needs and start to sort of co-create what these pathways could mean. What we do know is that there's so much research that ends up being done and disseminated, even disseminated quite widely and in quite high-ranking journals, that doesn't end up being embedded successfully in clinical practice. And so much of that is based on the difficulties that it really is to be able to implement, especially when you're working in such a complex healthcare ecosystem. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. And how do you actually see the work packages uh, within SOFIA talking to each other? And uh, do, you, do you find that the findings from Work Package 7 are sort of uh, being used in Work Package 8 and vice versa? Absolutely. I think there's been an ongoing dialogue between all of the work packages, I think, especially between Work Package 7 and Work Package 8, because I think both of those are working towards the same goal. And that's identifying that shared value in terms of understanding and changing the narrative around obesity. And um, so I think it's been an ongoing dialogue throughout the project. And I think, you know, um, what has been a real strength to Sophia has been the interdisciplinary approach that we have taken. 
So we have researchers working in lots of different fields who've come together to work within the SOFIA study. And that for me has been a real strength in terms of sharing language and um, learning from each other and being able to actually create a new language and understanding around research, research about lived experience and then research of regarding people who are living with obesity. So um, yeah, that's certainly been my experience. Yeah, certainly. I think especially one of the core features of shared value is that all stakeholder needs and perspectives are met. And at the forefront of all of this is the patient perspective. So it's so important that we make sure that the needs and the challenges experienced by patients, which you've done such an amazing job at elucidating, are able to be implemented in any research initiative or implementation of any future healthcare intervention or future pathway. So we're really looking forward to find out how we're able to actually meet what we're finding out on a more sort of basic science level with looking at phenotyping and looking at what we can achieve with omics and clustering and looking at how we can actually translate that into tangible benefits that can help interactions between patients and their healthcare providers or the experience of everyday experience of those who are living with obesity. It's a really exciting space where, I mean, it's, it's you know, so innovative, I think, the approach that's been taken yeah. in, in Sophia. We're working with partners across industry, academics, different disciplines. I mean, it, it, we're working around and with and in partnership with our patients. I mean, that is so exciting and it's cutting out and in a bit of, yeah. And I really hope to see this work progress uh, as we come towards the end of our self I was just project. about to ask you actually yeah. about yeah. because the timeline yeah. of Sophia sort of uh, were well, well thought through. So Work Packet 7 is now coming to an end uh, where we have here patients' preferences and perceptions and, this, and Work Package 8 is now starting. So yeah. maybe, so, um, Deidre, you can tell us about the main findings from Work Back at 7. Uh, yeah, I think there's been a, a lot of different findings. I think it's no surprise that obesity is a complex lived experience for anybody who has been engaging in study reporting that. Um, I think there's been lots of different um, findings that have emerged that have really highlighted the profound impact that uh, living with obesity has on how people experience their lives with their families, with their friends, with themselves, their relationship with their se themselves, how it's impacted on their psychosocial well-being. One of our key findings has been the link between living with obesity and mental health yeah. and staying mentally well. Um, and that's been a real challenge and I think an area for really in-depth qualitative research required in that moving forward. Um, and then stigma, shame and blame, one of the key findings again emergent, which is not surprising. But again, you know, for me, it's around, and I've been thinking a lot about this, it's the legacy, I suppose, of Work Package 7. And obviously we're going to feed into Work Package 8, which is fantastic. But moving forward in the field of obesity, you know, how can we now, you know, embed patients' voices, embed qualitative research, really in-depth qualitative research into the work within field of obesity? And not only that then, how do we take action? So we have this data, we're recording on it. Now, how can the stakeholders who have the power to make the decisions and make the change enact that and put our findings up into real practice in our healthcare facilities um, and for within our societies more generally as well. 100%. And this brings me, I suppose, to the final question, uh, maybe to you, Alex, and how do you actually think the findings from Work Packet 7, but the entire SOFIA project, will change the future of obesity treatments? Yeah, I think that that's a sort of two-pronged question because one is looking at the actual research results that we've been able to generate. And I think one part of that is looking at what we're able to change in terms of the narrative and what might be able to find in terms of how we think about obesity as a complex and multifactorial disease. And the other side of that, and I think that relates so importantly as well to Work Package 7 or to the patient value or patient perspective, um, is how we are trying to advocate for change moving forward. I think you spoke so nicely about the legacy. And what we're really doing is we're doing research now that we're hoping is going to change not only future research, but also future policy initiatives. So we're hoping and what we're doing right now is we are taking a large scale analysis of what the most important messages are based on everything that we've found, everything that we've collected. What do we want to be our take home messages and what do we think is strongest and what do we want to advocate for so that we can have a really concise, almost ask 
of the policy environment and of the world around us to say this is what we really need to feature on the agenda and that hopefully that can inspire future research in the area and hopefully that can also inspire future policy initiatives. And I think what we're finding first and foremost is that access to all. Everybody should have fair and equal access to healthcare and equal treatment and management for their obesity and to be understood on the basis of who they are and who they come as and sort of showing up into the world around them and also into the healthcare space. And the biggest finding, I think, is that that was something that all of our stakeholder groups so far are saying is the top priority. And I think that is really a testament to what you've been able to bring forward from the patient experience. Well said. Well said, Alex. Well, Deidre and Alex, thank you so much for joining me today. And we look forward to many more sessions. Yes, thank you. Thank you.